Hello, I'm Pastor John. It's nice to see you. It is time for the call to prayer. We're going to learn about moving forward. It's time for the call to prayer. In today's society, we are not so good at moving forward. We get nervous about so many things, and it uh, depends, of course, on your background and whether or not it's okay to move forward or not. But we as Christians generally don't really move forward much unless we're forced forward. Well, let's take a look and see what happened in the Bible. Do you remember the time we were just talking about earlier? And, and before I get going, remember, hit the like button. Smash that like button and get these things out if it's something that blesses you. Also share it on Facebook or on YouTube. Okay, we'll continue on. So in the early Christian church, as we were dealing with earlier, Stephen had died. He had been executed by, the, by basically the priesthood and the Pharisees banded together, the left and the right banded together and destroyed Stephen basically stoning him to death. And there was a man named Saul. Remember that? We talked about his conversion a couple Sabbaths ago. Saul, who we know in the, now the New Testament as Paul, for he changed his name so that he could reach people outside of Judaism. Because in the world of the Greeks and the Romans, they didn't know what the word Shaul meant, but Paulos, they understood but Saul, before he changed his name, began the great persecution of anyone who followed the way. The early Christian church was considered the way. That was what it was called. This is the way, like in the Mandalorian. So, as Christians, they started to run. They had to run away from Jerusalem, many of them that were prominent, and they headed to a place where the Jewish authority didn't want to go, Samaria. Samaria was that where the Samaritans were. And those Samaritans were considered bad guys. They were considered outsiders. They were the ones that were culturally different from the Israelites or the Jews in Jerusalem or the Galileans. They were the ones that were of the religious system that was biblical-based, but they had intermarried. When, when, when the Israelites were taken to Babylon in 500 BC, they were the ones that were left behind and they intermarried among many of the other cultures that were there. So when the Israelites 70 years later came back, they didn't recognize the Samaritans. In fact, the Samaritans were a pain to them as well. They were a part of the difficulties of the building of the new temple, which was the, uh, the temple of Zerubbabel that was built after they came back. And we know about that from Ezra, and Nehemiah, the books of the Bible. So um, the Samaritans were hated, and there was reason why. And the Samaritans did not like the Israelites, but because of persecution, Jesus had promised, by the way, because of persecution, they had to move in to Samaria, but Jesus had promised it. For Jesus said that you shall take the gospel all from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and to the world. So in other words, it would move outward and they were moving outward. It was the killing of Stephen that started this move forward. And Peter headed into Samaria as well as Philip. And there was great things that happened. And next week, we're going to talk about some of those great things. But I'd like to move down. The angel of the Lord came to Philip, one of the lesser known of the apostles. In fact, in St. Peter's Cathedral, you see him Philip, and he has a chi cross. It's a cross that's shaped like this because it's traditionally believed that he died on a chi cross like this with his legs out and arms out. And so uh, he died for the gospel as well as many of the other apostles. Almost every, every apostle died except for John. John was thrown in hot oil. He survived it, and Emperor Domitian said, never mind, sent him to Alapatmos where he wrote the book of Revelation. Then later, when he was released in Ephesus, he wrote the book of John. 
So he died of natural causes as opposed to all the other disciples that died of unnatural causes like crucifixion, beheading, um, uh, stabbed with a scimitar as, as, uh, as Thomas was. Thomas, the quotes doubter, died for Jesus in India. But um, anyway, we continue on. So Philip was called out to the, uh, the desert road. So the angel of the Lord said to Philip, this is in Acts chapter 8, verse 26, said to Philip, go to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out on his way and met an Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Black skin color. But you know, Ethiopia had, and still to this day, has a strong portion of Christians that come from Judaistic Christians. There were, in Ethiopia, many Jewish people that were of dark skin, that were black. Isn't it amazing? We sometimes think integration is a new thing. It's been around a long time. But the thing is, is God uses all cultures. But you see, this Ethiopian had come to Jerusalem. He was reading the scriptures, but didn't know what they meant. And Philip was called. No, he didn't go to the other side of the road when he saw the black man. He heard this Ethiopian reading, and he decided he was going to share good news. The gospel. Good news. Yes, the gospel's not good views, not correct views, as our politicians like to think. The gospel is not good advice, as our health freaks like to say, <laughs> the gospel is good news. So we continue on. I'm looking at my time. Got to make sure I keep it under about 12 minutes. So he saw an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in the charge of the treasury of Candace, which means queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship. And on his way home, he was sitting in his chariot, reading from the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to the man in that chariot and stay near him. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Philip asked, do you understand what you're reading? How can I, the man said unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. This is the passage of scripture the eunuch was reading. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, as a lamb before his shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? for his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, please tell me, sir, who is this prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with the very passage of scripture and told him the good news of Jesus. Jesus was deprived of justice. Jesus was silent, just like a sheep before his shearers. He was taken from this earth. He was crucified. And he wasn't just crucified for us who sit in our lives and don't move forward and just do what we're told to do by our family, by our religion, by our friends. He died for those who we would not care about if it wasn't for the gospel. He died for those out there out there, on the left and the right, those of dark skin and light, brown, red, brown, yellow, black, and white, all are precious in his sight. Some of us are prejudiced one way. We don't want to deal with white people. Some of us are prejudiced the other way. We don't want to deal with brown people. Some of us are prejudiced the other way. Don't want to deal with any kind of people. But Jesus asks us to deal with people. 
Because when we're cut, we all bleed red. Red, Jesus' lives matter. Jesus' lives matter. And so this eunuch heard this good news, and he said, well, can I be baptized? And Philip says, yes. Well, well there, there's water over there. This is interesting. Amazingly, there was water, and it was a part of probably on the way down, there is a river that, that was through that desert road. He saw, look, there is water. What can stand in the way of my being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. We're going to be having a baptism this week and next week. But it's important that we understand you go down into the water. We believe in immersion, baptism by immersion. But I want you to notice another thing. It takes someone with a message to baptize the one that's learning. Jesus was baptized. Did he baptize himself? No. Not at all. He was baptized by John the baptizer. Even the Lord of the universe was baptized by someone else. You can be baptized as well. Because the message of God must always move forward. God save us. God save us Christians for not moving forward with the gospel. During this pandemic, I am proud of you who continue to push and shove to do your best, even if you're at home, doing your best for Jesus, to reach out to others with the love of Jesus and with messages of Jesus. Those of you who come to church and with masks, and this week we're going to be inside. Praise the Lord, we get to be inside. We're going to follow all the rules, of course, but continue to move forward. Never allow yourself to rut yourself into a nothingness. The gospel of Jesus is good news, and we give good news with joy if that good news is in our hearts. I want to apologize for wearing the suit today. I just got done with a, uh, a family uh, reunion with an individual who died 60 years ago in World War II. His name, Jacob Cruz. He's the uncle of, uh, the great uncle of, well, of Milka and Lenny over at Sunland Church. His remains were finally found, and he has come home. Good news is, even though he died, the good news is there's a reunion today of his body, but I talked with our family there about the reunion of heart in heaven with Jesus. For all of those who loved his appearing will have a reunion one moment and it will be incredible. We must move forward. If we care, we must continue, even with persecution. As in the case of Philip, he knew it was illegal to speak the gospel, but yet he continued showing the mercy and love of Jesus through, sp through spreading the good news of Jesus. I'm gonna see you in a few minutes. Like. Subscribe, be a part of our team here at Livingstone's End, Sunland, Tahunga. And at 7.15, we have the intercession. We're going to begin in a few moments. Let's enjoy.